Meg Street Studios is based over four floors and there's probably around about 40 to 50 artists in the building at any one time. We have people who work full-time as artists, so they are in every day. And some people I mean are in every day, you know, they're in at eight to late, they work very hard. Uh, we have other people who are, for them it's an opportunity to develop their creativity. It's a great policy to take on an artist who's at the beginning of their career, they're even not sure of their direction, and to give them an opportunity to come and work here in a creative environment. And it's, it's fantastic to watch them develop. We try and run a very vibrant studio and we try and encourage people to use their spaces. Uh, we also try and encourage a broad variety of disciplines. We have illustrators, we have fine artists, we have installation artists. The spaces are quite big on this floor, which is the first floor, uh, it's all open plan. So you get a space that's maybe about 25 square foot. Top two floors tend to be rooms, so you basically you rent a room. And that's perhaps more appropriate if you're going to make a mess. Some of the illustrators prefer a room. The painters seem to like this floor because of the light, and it's because it's open plan you can spread out quite a bit. There's nothing like being able to come in and having a sort of, you know, community feel and people around you just kind of input and to talk to. It's quite inspiring. If I'm doing sort of big messy work, it tends to be done in the studio. It's quite an isolated life kind of being an illustrator or an artist. So I think places like this, yeah, are, are crucial. There's so many, so many other things you can do when you're at home. It's so easy to be distracted. It's good, to, I think, to be surrounded by people doing similar things than yourself but they're not and I think it's good as well they're not doing exactly the same thing even though I'm, I'm sharing a studio with another illustrator it's still good to see art you know transformed in, in another medium maybe someone trying to say something similar to what I'm trying to say but using a completely different medium it's very inspiring yeah I'm a painter I am um, I paint I paint in oils on board and I'm quite a traditionalist um, uh, I really like the mundane, small objects, food and matches, cigarette ends. I don't know, just, I don't know, for some reason like, I really like the little bits and pieces of life. Yeah, I think when you're working in an environment like this, um, you can bounce ideas off other people. There's, there's a lot of other sort of fine artists doing a lot of diverse and different types of art and you can, you kind of feed off that. I think if you're isolated, um, it's hard, it's very hard to find the motivation to kind of to kind of carry on. I mean, one of the positive things about Jamaica Street is that it's 24-hour access, so if you do have a job, you can come in after hours, you can work during the night, you can come in early in the morning. Yeah, whatever suits you best, really. I can't really work at home. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I get a bit kind of brain dead if I don't leave the house with a, with a kind of routine, so it really helps me to kind of get out and feel like it's a job. It takes a long time to get up your practice up and ready and there's a lot of pressure on as soon as you finish university with your debts and everything. I think the balance between earning money and um, affording a studio is quite difficult. I know quite a lot of people that are quite good artists that uh, ended up working full time to pay for their studio and the flat and uh, not, not have uh, any time to actually be in the studio. I've stayed in Bristol for so long because of this studio. Just the fact that, you know, that so many artists come through this door, we have open studios every year, it's part of the identity of this area, especially Stokescroft, because Stokescroft is almost like the lifeblood of cultural activity in Bristol. And a lot of artists come to Bristol because of this area. People come here and it's just a space where they can be away from all the other confines of, of everyday life, if you like. So people have this opportunity to just develop their artistic ideas. And as they develop, also because it's a, an environment where there's a lot of artists working, opportunities come up. So exhibition opportunities arise. We have a group show once a year, which is our open studios, and everyone takes part in that. I think the open studio is good because 
if you like in in this early stage of where where I guess both of our, us are at the moment, which is not really having too much to work towards, but you're just kind of working and creating work. It, it gives you that kind of drive to to make work for something. It's like an exhibition that is yours as well, and you really want to make it good because you know you're representing your building. So I think it's I think it's a really good thing. Our space becomes a gallery. Everything gets taken out of it, and we invite members of the public to come in and see what we're doing. So people sometimes work towards that, or they work towards a show in London, but it's because of the, the vibrant nature of the building, I think people appreciate and appreciate being in this creative environment.